All right, well, it's kind of like a countdown to eclipse a week from now. Boy, it really is. It's like tying up loose ends and releasing. And... Oh, good job. Oh, there's a little gray hair. I mean, I am 65. Um, <laughs> I like them. I like them. I like, uh, Um, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Every day is a new twilight zone. It really is. <laughs> Today is no different, but it was uh, again. Not, it was almost a perfect weather kind of day where temperatures were just in the 60s. There was a cool breeze, but the sun was warm, and so I had a chance to air out the tent and, and just. Folks in the neighborhood doing their thing. And, um, how would I put it? Moving more into the cadence of um, a tribal life, lifestyle. You know, still on uh, the context of. Walmart's just down the street, you know, <laughs> and McDonald's and Motel 6 and Behavior Health, you know. And I have a, I, I can, I have a, these little devices that I can I can uh, journal and record on. Um, but I cleaned out again one one side of the tent where um, you know I got down to the tent floor and where I had boxes and everything that got soaked when that spring came up through the through the um, through the floor the bottom of the tent and um, and though I fortunately had them lined with plastic and things of that nature so the, the things that I needed were were protected um, the boxes which which kept a, a, a kind of a structure, you know, from everything just sliding down the hill, because I'm living on a slide. <laughs> you know? So the boxes gave some, some uh, structure to keep things relatively 90 degrees or whatever that is, straight up, up and down enough, stay in one place. But, they were soaked and molding and breaking down, and so um, so I kind of cleaned out everything, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But I was still able to clean up, clean up, and then spray spray it down with rubbing alcohol because the mold. Um, and uh, so that was a that was a good little um again one layer of cleaning and kind of a spring cleaning in a way yeah and um 
So, so that was on the physical level. But, um, geez, just the consciousness and the sense of time. What was he doing? <laughs> What is he? Oh well, people are doing, you know, people are, the consciousness and sense of time and everything, you know, the past is done and um, the changes that are afoot, something else. But all you can do is work with what you have with where you're at, you know, every day. And then, and then, take take prudent steps, and guided steps to uh, to the next direction, the next. I don't know if pit stops the right word, but the next next place I'll be living and working. Um, but. But I watched a video on a, um, an African, young African man who travels to different villages and he went to a village in Uganda where the people were, for the most part, still, still living in the traditional cycles, land-based, earth-based cycles. And functions and it kind of um, just the, the human adaptability and the beauty of the human spirit regardless of the culture is um, especially earth-based more tribal earth-based cultures, some that have been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years, slowly, slowly, slowly developing. Um, and so watching that, it gave me the opportunity to, <laughs> oh, I always like to <laughs> watch the developments of what's happening around. Because that's the thing about, like, um, kind of tribal village life, living outside. Because, like, when I was, like, watching this this um, documentary, this young African man took of the Ugandan, and it's a pretty big village. Pretty big. You know, there's small little structure, small little villages. I mean, it was ingenious the way they have so little resources, but how they... How they um, set up the flows of safety and security and food within the context of just all the civil unrest and the colonization that's been going on for hundreds of years in Africa too, if not longer. Um, but still, it did. and now I'm reflecting on kind of the the village. A little tribal village here on the hill where we have our own tents and everybody can hear what everybody's doing you know and um, and you just how to put it it's like we're one body we're all unique individuals with our but yet we're all kind of one body and there's certain ways of being and operating in the oneness even though we're all so very different and there's clearly um, but still there's just that universal human sense of how each person with their own unique talents and gifts contribute to to keep a to keep stability going 
you know, for the whole. So, um, so I don't know, I was just kind of, um, listening to Penny Kelly's, uh, um, tarot readings for the month of April. And she asked about the entertainment industry. It's fascinating what she came up with. But I've been reflecting upon that because as I'm leaving that world, that was such a part of my, part of my um, dream and vision, you know, for like the first 60 years, really, 50 years of my life um, in, in watching that change and evolve, because I was engaged more on the outside or al along the, I just stayed away from the insanity of that industry, oh my God. But I knew influential players in that industry but I was also very clear that um, that was a playing field I didn't want to participate in. But I only from the outside contributing my love, my vision, very quiet gifts that I can contribute. To the industry and the direction it was going in to the best of my ability but I saw God way back in the 80s I saw the direction it was going in and I was very clear about um, the devolution of that industry and how it was it's been completely usurped by Well, I'll use the term satanic or luciferian. You can use that too. Um, you know, very destructive, destructive um, forces in the human human development and. Um, And so having that distance and seeing what's, you know, what's been going on here, but also to the distance and also being able to sleep and dream as much as I've been able to do and just really go at my own pace as far as taking care of things, when it needs to be taken care of and engaging society when I need to, but for the most part, being in my my hermit's cave or capsule here under this oak tree has been quite the quite the healing um, you know hermit's cave kind of thing to reflect upon what's unfolding so anyway um, the thing is, with nice weather, there's a lot more insects and spideys, and so I have to keep an eye on things. But having said that, you know, that's the social stuff, that's the stuff going on. Um, and just recognizing the the, uh, you know, these are the end times. So the structures the way they were are coming apart. And those who have um, um, dominating, enslaving, and I'll use the term slave, because it's about exploitation and domination and slavery or in to stay stay 
imprisoned in fear and then controlled and having your, your growth usurped, your spiritual growth and your evolution usurped. Or getting off that playboard game and um, creating new patterns and pathways to um, to our evolution and our love and freedom and the power of love, the power of healing, the power of forgiveness and compassion and being able to exercise that in the midst of everything's unraveling. So figuring out the ways to create safety, create nourishment, create um, um, warmth during cold times, uh, and then to be able to nourish the coming generations, the following generations, to be able to continue on to with those pathways. Oh, so it is the unknown, uncharted. Um, and seeing more of the nightmare, which is going to get louder and scarier by the day. And so it's going to be for those of us um, who have a dream and who have a vision and whose destiny it is keep moving, keep moving forward through it, transforming what we can through that, and uh, then laying the foundation for a new. But we're in transition now. Foundation for the new isn't, it isn't quite that time. It's about making this transition, how to say, throwing, throw, not throwing out the baby with the bathwater, like the old stuff's got to go, but to safeguard the positive and the beautiful that can be brought forward and then built upon. So anyway, that's uh, that's today. And good enough. Um, countdown to eclipse. Sana, my guru, chinguich, Amapi, and many blessings. <laughs>